Hi everyone, today I'll be doing another figure review and this time it's the Sayaka Miki movie version 1A scale figure by Good Smile Company. She is from the anime Puella Magi Madoka Magica or also known as Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica. So starting off with the box itself, it has a lovely design with pastel blue and teal colors with a beautiful white lace border and also a large window for viewing the figure inside. In the background, there are circular and diamond shaped designs and also we have what seems to be a silhouette of a fortissimo music note which matches Sayaka's love of music that was portrayed in the anime. On the side, we have an enlarged photo of Sayaka herself along with a close-up of the figure along the bottom corner. On the other side of the box, we have another window viewing the figure from the side along with the same design layout as what was shown on the front. In the back, we have three pictures of Sayaka showcasing the front and back of the figure, although this time with her swords, as well as another close-up of her face on the bottom left-hand corner. On the top, we have another window although it's uniquely cut out to look like Sayaka Soul Gem, which makes it very one of a kind compared to the previous Madoka Magica figure boxes. On the bottom, we have Sayaka's name written in bold white lettering as well as the title of the anime itself on the top. And in the inside, we have the same blue diamond shaped background with these various different white music notes matching the overall theme of the figure. Here is Sayaka out of her box and just like with all PVC figures, they come with this clear plastic protective case along with extra packaging surrounding the figure itself. So taking a look at the accessories she comes with, we have two of her signature swords. The paint job on them are extremely detailed as you can see the waviness at the edge of the sharp side of the swords. The attention to detail of the hilt and handguard are just amazing and it really makes the swords one of the best highlights of the figure. Her swords can be equipped by swapping out both of her hands. Her fingers actually have visible joints and you can also make out her knuckles, making her hand look as realistic, which is quite a feature given how small figure hands can be. And lastly we have her base, which is a basic semi-transparent blue gradient on the edges. Now taking a look at the figure itself, her innocent smile and lovely darker shade of blue gradient in her hair really captures a more gentle side of Sayaka, which is not something that came out that often in the anime. And also, with this being a special movie version compared to the original one, this figure comes with an additional golden hair clip, shaped as a fortissimo music note, as well as a brighter blush on her cheeks that gives this figure a lot more charm. The glossy paint on her outfit and the shiny golden trim adds a nice touch, as well as Sayaka's soul gem peeking out from her belly button, which is a translucent plastic, sets as a very unique piece apart from the rest of her. Sayaka comes with two poses, first being her default pose. Her arms are outstretched and her cape flows behind her as if she were standing against the wind, with a carefree look to her which gives a very natural feel. Her second pose here is when she is holding her swords, one in each hand, and personally I think she looks nicer with her weapons, although they do increase the area that Sayaka needs to be displayed. Overall, this movie design of Sayaka is absolutely stunning. The colors are more vibrant and bright, and her overall pose gives a very dynamic feeling to the figure, making it even more impressive than the original one. I consider this version to be one of my favorites and I'm quite satisfied with the outcome of how amazing she looks. So I definitely recommend on getting her for those who are thinking of buying this Saiga figure. She is still available from time to time on figure websites like Amiyami and Mandarake, so be sure to pick her up if you are interested in getting her. So that's it for the Saiga Miki figure review. I hope you all enjoyed it and until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.